So, Prahlad Mahārāja says, we have already discussed about this, that it doesn't require any qualification to pacify, to please, to satisfy the Lord. You don't require any pre-qualification. Or you have to pass your examination in the university, or you have to become a rich man like Rockefeller or Ford, or you have to become this or that. No condition. If you want to love Krishna, there is no check. There is no check. The road is open. Simply you have to become sincere. That's all. Then Krishna will clear the way. And if there is no sincerity, then Krishna's maya is there. He'll always, he'll always put some stumbling block. Not this, not this. So Prahlad Maharaj decided that although I am a child, I have no education, I have no studies of the Vedas, and born of atheistic father, low born, so all bad qualifications. So God is worshipped by highest intellectual persons offering Vedic hymns and Brahmins, highly cultured. So I have no such qualification. But still all these demigods were so highly elevated in their position, they have requested me. That means God can be pacified even by me. Otherwise, how they will recommend? So whatever qualification I have got, whatever intelligence I have got, I may offer Krishna. The prava, this Krishna consciousness movement is like this, that whatever qualification you have got, that is sufficient. You begin with that qualification. You try to serve Krishna with your qualification. Because real qualification and your feeling of service, that is real qualification. So you develop that feeling, not your external qualification, beauty, wealth, knowledge, these, that. No, these things are no valuable. They are valuable if they are employed in Krishna's service. If you are a very rich man, if you employ your wealth in Krishna's service, it is all right. But there is no need that you have to become very wealthy, then you can serve Krishna. So, Prahlad Maharaj says, Nichu ajaya guna visakka anupravishta huyeta jena humana anuvannitena. Now one may question that Prahlad is born of impure father. This is argument. Prahlad is not impure, but it is an argument set. Born of low father, low family, and one, so many, so many things they may say. But Pallad Maharaj says that if I begin simply glorify the Lord, then I shall be purified. If I chant the purification, this Hare Krishna mantra is, is the process of purification. Not that I will have to purify otherwise and then take to Hare Krishna mantra. No. You begin chanting. Then it is spirit. You will be purified. Begin chant in whatever condition you are. That doesn't matter. Actually, uh, I began my this Krishna consciousness movement, and not that they came in a very purified condition. Uh, that he, everyone of you know that those who came to me, uh, they according. They have been trained from childhood 
according to Indian standard, they do not know even the hygienic principle. So what is the question of purification? You see? In India, the system is from childhood. A child is trained to take bath, to wash teeth in the morning. Yes. And I remember when my second son was about four years old, so before breakfast I used to ask him, show me your teeth. So he would say, yes, all right, you have washed your teeth, that's all. Then you are allowed to take with yes. So these training, there are. But here in this country, the training, of course, there are somewhere, but not very strictly. So that doesn't matter. Chant Hare Krishna, begin Hare Krishna. Then everything will come. Everything will come. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, 